Yes, 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 yes. My friend, my colleague, my family member, my best guy, my best friend. I am here yet again to say that God loves you. And because he loves you, he has sent me with the word. The word from his throne. The word from his teaching. Today, I'm Jeff, your host for the for the morning dew of this Wednesday. Again, we have to feed because you know we are living organisms and we have to grow. And besides, you are living in this world, and this world, if you are to overcome it, you need an encouragement. You need somebody to give you a shoulder to cry on. You need somebody to hold your hand and say, "Hey, it's possible. We can make it." I am here for you. Don't walk alone. I love Liverpool because they say, "Never walk alone." Okay. So if you're there, please never walk alone. Make sure you have somebody you're working with. Okay. So we are glad we are here, but tonight I'm not alone. I'm with a man, a man modeled in all seasons, a man seasoned by the works and the experience, the encounters of God. You may not know him, but I brought him in just for a surprise. You know what? I like him. I like his style. I like his face. I like his smile. I like his ways because his heart is for God. You know what? Probably he has blessed you in so many ways, and now you're just thinking maybe it's Pastor Sam. Sorry for you. I have somebody who has always been behind the cameras, the chef himself. He has come to bless us today. And please, friends, may you join hands together with me and welcome. Our papa, our leader, our friend, Dr. <laughs> oh, Gideon, tonight. Thank you so much. Gideon, you're most welcome to this panel. It's a privilege, Pastor. Yes. It's a privilege to be part of this panel. Yes, please. Uh, I'm so humbled and I thank God that I'm here today. True. Yeah, it's a good morning and I greet you all. Greetings to everyone who is watching. True. But I encourage us to subscribe to our channel. Mm. Uh, comment, leave a comment, and share this video so that uh, other people can also get what you're getting. True. Turn on the notification button so that next time we upload any video, you get to know and you watch it. True. Thank you so much. For wow. Giddy, yes, what do you have to say about this morning with you? Wow. Like, where do you see it going and how has it impacted people? Uh, well, actually, we have received many testimonies. Mm. That's why we actually give in time to record to premiere it more and more. Yes. Because we have many testimonies. Mm. People's lives have been changed. Mm. People come out and tell us that it's because of the morning dew mm. that they are what they are. Wow. It's because of this breakthrough in the morning that mm. people have gotten good jobs. Mm. People have a lot of testimonies. Actually, we bless God. Do you know, at times I call it breakfast in bed. Of, of course, course it is. Everyone is dead. Don't miss the breakfast in bed. By the chef himself. <laughs> you know, he's the guy always behind the chef and doing all the mixing and they say, please do this, do this, you know. But today, I decided to bring him in and say, let him be the spice in our morning. So we are glad. Gideon is here and I believe you have been blessed by his work and the work of God in his life back in the previous days where he has been working with us through all the seasons and all the series. Bring you the breakfast in your bed. Amen. So again, we want to, uh, to accomplish and uh, finish with our series that we began, the intentions of God, you know, and tonight the message we carry into your room, into your house is trust the process. You may not know where it's coming from, but you are saying trust the process. Amen. Trust the process. Without uh, wasting any much more time, I want us to pray as we go into the word. Amen. And I'm going to request Gideon, who is our guest today, to pray for the word and then we go into the books. Let's humble ourselves and we pray. Mm. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you that you've given us the opportunity to share your word. We 
thank you for everyone that is out there viewing this video. Lord, we pray that you touch someone's life this morning. We pray that God, you bless someone. We pray that through this uh, this morning, you, you, you bless people and you show them your way and you give them the exact word that they need in their life. That we pray that God, you pave ways and you encourage men using this morning, you my God. We, we, we are so expectant and we pray that God, your spirit keeps moving as it has always been. Mm. We, we welcome you, God, to do what you're best at doing, to encourage your people, to always give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm. And Lord Jesus Christ, use us as vessels to, to minister unto your people. Mm. We, we pray, believe in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You know, we don't want to dwell in yesterday's <coughs> anointing or the other week's anointing. We want to dwell in the right masses of God that he has released this morning. Mm. Because he says, his, his masses are new every morning. Every day you wake up, if you can only say this, that God is masses and you every morning, mm. it will encourage you, it will uplift you, and you know that surely he's right there with you. Mm. Okay? Mm. So friends, if you have your Bible with you, please prepare your gadget, prepare your hard copy Bible, as we run to the book of Luke, chapter 8, as we summarize, we shall be specifically looking at verse 15, but uh, for those of us who have been just joining us for this one time, we shall read from verse 4 up to verse 15, and then we shall single out verse 15, because what we are going to be sharing in today as we trust the process. Okay? I want to tell you this. Trust the process. You may not know it right now, but trust what? The, the process. process. And how do I trust the process? And how, what do I hold on to by trusting the process? Where can I stand to trust the process? What can I fix my eyes on as I trust the process? Whom can I gather myself with? To trust, trust the process. process. Let's read Luke chapter 8, verses 4 to verses 15. Yes, Luke Gideon. chapter 8, starting mm. from verse 4, it says, mm. And when a great multitude had gathered, mm. and they had come to him mm. from every city, yes. he spoke by a, pal- a parable. Mm. As, uh, verse 5 mm. A sower went out to sow his seed, mm. and he and as he sowed, mm. some fell by the wayside, mm. and it was trampled. Da- and it was trampled down, mm. and the birds of the hair mm. devoured it. Mm. Six, some fell on the rock, mm. and as soon as it sprang up, mm. it withered away because it lacked moisture. Mm. Seven, and some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and shocked it. Mm. But others fell on a good ground, mm. sprang up, and they and yielded a crop. Mm. A hundred folds. Mm. When he had said these mm. th- these things, mm. he, he cried, mm. "He who has hears mm. to hear, mm-hmm. let him hear." Mm-hmm. Verse nine. Yes. Then his disciples asked him, mm. saying, "What does this parable mm. mean?" Yes. And ten says, mm-hmm. "And he, he said mm. to you, it has been given to know the mysteries mm. of the kingdom of God, but the rest, but to the rest, mm. it is given." in parables mm. that seeing they may not see mm-hmm. and hearing they may not understand. <laughs> 11 says mm-hmm. and the parable is this mm. the seed is the word of God. The word of God. Those by the wayside mm. are the ones who hear mm-hmm. and the devil comes and takes away mm. the word of uh, the, the word out of their hearts mm. rest, lest they should believe and be saved. Mm. 13 says but the ones on the rock mm. are those who, when they hear, mm-hmm. receive the word with joy, mm. uh, and these have no root, who believe for a while, mm-hmm. and in time of temptation, fall away. 14. Now, the ones that fell among the thorns mm. are those, when they have heard, mm. go out and are choked with cares, riches, and pleasures of life, and bring no fruit to maturity. Mm. Now 15. Yes, 15. But the ones that fell on the ground, mm-hmm. on the good ground, the good ground. are those mm-hmm. who, having heard the word heart. with a noble no. and a good, good heart, heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. Cut and take it out. First, underline verse 15. Mm. It says, actually, I have my pen here. Verse 15, you shall underline it. He says, they bear fruit, okay? Yeah. yeah. But bearing fruit, they don't bear it just <laughs> with nothing. Mm-hmm. They bear fruit with a good heart. Yeah, with a good heart. Mm. And keep it. Keep it. And, and bear fruit with, with patience. patience. 
I'll begin by this. It is not how long you wait, but rather it is how you behave while waiting. Because the verse is purely telling you that at the end you will see the fruits of your labor. Mm. But how you're going to behave while waiting is what will determine which fruit you're going to do what? To bear. We saw in the previous week, yeah. we looked at the things that choked people's lives. We had worries, mm. we had cares, we had riches, and we had also the, the I think, the, yes, there were those ones, cares, riches, and pleasures. Mm. They prevented people from maturing. So in this week, we are looking at trusting in the process to bear fruit, you get. Mm -hmm. Trusting the process to determine the, the fruit you're going to bear. He has told you clearly that God's intention is for you to bear fruit. God's intention is that surely you keep what he has given you. God's intention is that you don't lose what he has given you. Praise be to God. Apostle Paul says in one of his episodes that I have finished my race, yeah. I have fought a good fight, I have kept the faith. Do you know what? That means you may lose friends, but don't lose the faith. Keep the word, keep the word, keep the faith. You may lose um, what you had, but keep the faith. So, so keep this, the word of God. Actually, this uh, this has come to my mind that mm. many times God, uh, people, men of men of God have spoken to mm. our lives. Yes, and God has spoken to our lives in different different ways. Yes, but the time lag between what God spoke into our lives mm. happening. Yes, and where we are now. Yes, we always at times we tend to lose patience. Yes, and that's where people get lost from. And not only me, so many of the viewers. Maybe you could be among those that during that time. There are so many distractions. There are so many things that come. Your way. The devil is also. Oh, oh, I told you in the beginning that when the word of God comes, the mm. devil takes a shower and says, "Let us." Na lumba. You get. So better won't watch money. Get to know this. Whenever the word of God comes to you, the devil recognizes. You remember how Christ was mm. after the baptism? Immediately, immediately the devil attacked. Imagine after forty days. The guy said, "This is my son, in whom." I am pleased. Mm -hmm. The devil said, hey, he's the one. Let us see. He came. So whenever you read the word of God, whenever you believe God, just you know, opposition is mandatory. But whenever you come opposition, you, whenever you overcome opposition, mm -hmm. you will see your opportunity. And whenever you use your opportunity, you will see fruits of your labor. So without overcoming what is before you, what your eyes are seeing today, you will not see what is meant to be. That means what God spoke into your life not happening doesn't mean that it will not happen. And doesn't mean that it is not on it. No. So God it takes patience. Patience. God is delays and not denials. Rather, he's asking you to trust the process. The process. Mm. And by the way, people who trust the process are not childish people. And mm. not young people. It is those who are mature. To see beyond what others see. And in fact, trusting the patience cause mm. means maturity. Uh, exactly, yeah. maturity. Trusting with the patience will help you to mature. It's actually what God describes as maturity. You will live to see the fruits of your patience and you live to see what others didn't see. Mm. Okay? And to just encourage you or to really go deeper in the scripture, uh, I want us to go to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 55, verses 10. Isaiah 55, yes. mm -hmm. verse 10. Yes. My Bible says, mm -hmm. For as the rain comes down, mm -hmm. and the snow from heaven, mm -hmm. and do not return there, yes. but water the earth, mm -hmm. and make it bring forth, yes. and bud, mm. that it may give seed mm. to the sower, and? and bread to the eater, yes. so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. Exactly. Wow. God sends a word with an intention 
on purpose. Mm-hmm. One, when that word matures in you, when that word receive, uh, finds a good ground in you, it becomes a seed he uses in some other person's life. And then, when you use the word and you mature with patience and you get transformed, mm. others will see the works of God in you and they will perceive of his holiness, his nature, and his wonderful glory. And actually, they will benefit from the works of God in your life. Exactly. That means uh, being patient and waiting on the Lord mm. does not only benefit you, but even other people that will see what yeah. the Lord has done. Yeah. And actually, people that will be dependent on you mm. will also benefit from the works of the Lord. That means in case you don't be patient, mm-hmm. there are many people that you're cutting off ah. the blessings of people that you're hindering to, uh, to reach them. Exactly. I would say this. Stop killing people. Of course. <laughs> by, by not being patient. Uh-huh, by running away, by being impatient, you're killing so many innocent souls. Because God wants your life as an offering to others. Mind you, if you look at this, God is beginning with a, with a, with a seed, mm. expecting it to, to become a crop, expecting it to become a fruit. So that's the process we are talking about. The process begins with planting the seed. And actually, God chooses the seeds. He plants them. Now when he plants them, he expects that seed to get out, out of the ground, stand, withstand the storms, withstand the temptations, grow in those circumstances with factors against it overcome them and stand its ground and manifest what is inside of it against what is outside of it. So that's, that's uh, when I look at the journey of the seed, mm. it's, yes, God has a part uh-huh. in it, he's yes. planting it, mm. but then the seed itself, it also suffers in some way. Yeah. That means uh, when God's word comes upon our life, mm. we are 100% responsible True. and 100% dependent on God. I like that. <laughs> so so that, we are doing that, that the fruit will come as a result of planting, yeah. as a result of the transformation, the seed is going, as a result of the phases, the seed is going through. So, and by the way, you cannot have a fruit if you jump one phase. Yeah, yeah, sure. No shortcuts. No shortcut at all. In if God the word comes, you have to follow. You have to follow. In God thinks, you are saying, no shortcut. No shortcut. No easy way out. Go the hard way. So the word of God will come to pass, but you have to follow the process. True. Trust in the process. Wow. With patience, you will soon see the fruit. And as you said in Isaiah, no crop, no plant eats its own fruit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Some of us want to eat our own, our own fruit. fruit. It is others who will yeah. see the work of God, the transformation of God in you, and they will eat the fruit. Let people enjoy you. Let people find peace in you. Let people find comfort in you. So it's a reminder to all Christians that uh, in case you are somewhere, Mm. God has given you whatever he has given you. He has given you to benefit others. To be a blessing. To be a blessing. Don't exalt yourself. Uh, 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 Don't don't puff puff yourself up. You are given as an offering. He says, lay down down your life as Christ lay down his life for the good of others. The seed lays down its life. It undergoes transformation that many will come and eat of the fruit. Let people be satisfied of the transformation Mm. from the transformation that we've gone through. Don't run away. Trust the process. Amen? Mm. And with this, friends, we've really, really enjoyed being here and sharing with Gideon I wish you could show him some love by commenting down there and sending your comments and saying, please, Papa, thank you. If you have spoken a word that has really blessed you, put it in the comment section. We shall be glad to reply to it. I believe that surely the Lord is working. And mind you, he has not stopped. He will continue working and he will work and work and work. God is a worker. God is a farmer. God is a sower. 
we've come to the end and I'm going to request my papa here to really pray for us that surely the week will be a blessed one and then we shall close our session please oh. Gideon it's a pleasure. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this word. We thank you, Jesus Christ, that you've chosen to teach us about your word. You have chosen to tell us about uh, trusting the process. And we pray that, God, in this journey of trusting the process, you keep with us and you be with us and show us the way. Show us what we're supposed to do. Continue speaking your word unto us so that the enemy who is moving as a roaring lion should uh, do not take us from the journey, my God. We pray that God, Jesus Christ, you continue speaking your word into people's life and you continue giving them the patience and continue teaching them and what you want them to do, my God. We pray that Jesus Christ, continue being a loving father and continue being a protective father who loves your children to be successful children. But God, uh, in, uh, as soon as we achieve what you, you want us to achieve, we pray that you keep us humble so that we can Benefit others so that the fruits that come from us because of you benefit others and we encourage more people to follow you. Lord Jesus Christ, we believe in you and we know that you're paving a way for everyone. We know that God, you're doing miraculous things today. We know that you're changing people through this series and we know that you're answering many prayers. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for being with us today. Thank you for everyone who has watched. We pray that you bless them. We pray that God, Jesus Christ, in case anyone is suffering, you send your word to heal them. Any questions that they have, you send your word to answer them. We trust in you, Jesus Christ, and we trust in your word. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. We pray and believe in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That has been our session, and please, we pray and we believe that the Lord has worked in your life. See you next time. It has been Pastor Jeff together with Gideon for this morning dew. See you next time. Be blessed. All right. Ishaka Community Church family with pleasure would love to inform you that we'll start premiering our midweek online series called Morning Dew. Our pastoral team has prepared an amazing message just for you. This series will run every Wednesday from 6.30 to 7 a.m. Don't miss out on this amazing and wonderful experience to kickstart your day. We would love to keep in fellowship with you, grow together spiritually, and pray for you. Ishaka Community Church, connecting people to their destiny.